Sex is battle, men and women. 16 interesting facts. Welcome to Z. Men and women, according to science and popular culture, are basically two different species. And for this reason, in the 1980s, John Gray's men are from Mars, women are from Venus became so well known. In actuality, men did not evolve on red planet and women are not extraterrestrial beings, same planet and same species. The fact that the sexes aren't the same is evident though. Males and females differ significantly and meaningfully from one another while also sharing many traits. We will discuss 16 interesting facts about men and women in today's video. We'll talk about why men and women are so dissimilar yet similar. Keep your seat firm so you don't miss any of the video. Additionally, if you are a new viewer, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to the channel in order for you to never miss any new videos we upload. Let's get going. Number 1. Appreciating Close Family Relationships Family ties are typically valued more highly by women than by men. Findings from multiple studies show that women prioritize establishing close relationships with their extended families more than males do. According to the study, a shorter commute to work was less significant to 37% of men than a closer relationship with family was to 55% of women. Number 2. The amount of time spent shopping Contrary to popular belief, women don't necessarily enjoy shopping as much as men do or spend more time doing it. Despite the prevalent perception that women simply adore shopping, a survey found that women interviewed spent 43% less time shopping and males asked spent 23% more time than was considered appropriate looking for things. In addition, a higher percentage of men tended to need two or more visits before coming to a decision, whereas a higher percentage of women were definite after just one. Number 3. The Trust Problem Because of the problem with trust, women are more likely to be skeptical of the real estate market. Women seem to believe this more than anybody else, and the current situation of the property market is frequently considered as a warning lesson. Women are more likely to be wary of such an investment and exhibit less faith in home ownership as a concept and the property market as a whole. Before embracing a few common myths about the traditional housing market, you might wish to double check the information. Number 4. The Main Decision Makers When it comes to activities at home, women frequently serve as the key decision makers. Who says men take the initiative more often than women? Women frequently believe they are more dominant than males when it comes to looking for a new home or engaging in other tasks around the house. Only 30% of respondents who were asked who leads the charge were men, compared to 40% of respondents who were female. Actually, only slightly more than half of women, 46%, said they would trust their husband to check at homes while they are away, compared to the majority of men, 65%. Number 5. Spending lavishly According to a new study, men are more likely to lavishly invest in a home they admire. And if you think that males are more thrifty, you're wrong. Males are astonishingly three times more likely than females to spend a significant amount of money on what they view as the perfect home or anything similar, according to the results of a study done in the United Kingdom. Number 6. The Compromise Factor Men are more prone to change their preferences to satisfy the needs and preferences of their spouses. Males are generally more willing to make compromises on what they want from their home in order to satisfy the needs of their partner, despite the fact that men may appear to be more impulsive when it comes to spending a considerable amount of money. Research shows that only 30% of women can make the same kind of significant sacrifices as 79% of men. Number 7. Observing Flirty Behavior It's a prevalent misperception that males can spot flirtatious behavior more easily than women can. Men often trick themselves into thinking that someone is romantically interested in them when, in fact, they are not at all. This is according to research. 
Men may have evolved to exaggerate their level of sexual interest in potential females in order to ensure that they do not lose out on the opportunity to procreate, which is one explanation for this occurrence. Number 8. Enjoy talking. Men spend an average of 76 minutes per day chit-chatting and gossiping with friends or co-workers, compared to 52 minutes for women. According to one study, both men and women who learn a juicy secret tend to tell someone about it almost immediately. Women, on the other hand, hold off on sharing the information with others for at least three and a half hours. Number 9. Deciding on a Leadership in a partnership, both men and women acknowledge that the other is an authority. Recently, a poll on gender roles in society in the USA dared to pose the somewhat contentious question, who wears the pants in the partnership when it comes to crucial financial decisions? And I'll tell you what the results exceeded all of our expectations. Over 70% of those who live with their significant other responded, it's actually mutual. Number 10. Spending time in front of a mirror. Males do it more frequently than females when it comes to checking themselves in the mirror throughout the day. Men look in the mirror an average of 23 times every day, while women only do so 16 times, according to research done in Britain. Men spend 10 minutes each day on average staring into their own reflections, which equates to 6.5 days per year. Number 11. Interest in casual sex. Women find casual sex to be less enticing, but not far less. Numerous studies have shown that women are more likely to have casual sex when it occurs in the context of dating relationships, friendships, or hookups with ex-partners than when it occurs in random hookups. Women are more likely than men to have a one-night stand with a famous person or an acquaintance who is regarded as being good in bed. Number 12. Starting a divorce or breaking up with someone. If you believe that men are more likely to initiate the divorce and breakup process than women, think again. According to the results of various studies, women start about 70% of all divorces. It often happens that the woman will voice the more blatant arguments and complaints about how the marriage is progressing. Men are more likely to admit that being in an unpleasant relationship is acceptable. Number 13. Phone Addiction Which gender do you believe to be more dependent on their smartphone? One survey indicates that the proportion of women using their phones for more than 4 hours per day has increased by 30%. One in five female respondents to a different poll said they felt more anxious than usual when they were away from their cell phones for a longer period of time. Number 14. Enjoys using corny pickup lines Cheesy pickup lines are more likely to work on women than they are on males. The investigations are, nonetheless, quite intriguing. Even if cheeky and corny pickup lines might not be successful, they will at the very least start a conversation and may even lead to a one-night stand. But if you want to find a long-term partner, you guys really need to put in some extra work. Number 15. Excellent Memory when it comes to remembering where things are, women outperform men. Additionally, when navigating, women are more inclined than men to use landmarks rather than directions and distances. Instructing someone to proceed straight until you see the McDonald's, then turn right and continue until you reach the top of the hill is consequently more likely to come from a woman. A guy is more likely to say, drive north for three miles, then turn east on Liberty Street. Number 16. As cool as a cucumber. Oxytocin is a hormone that is released during stress in both men and women equally. Women's estrogen and oxytocin work together to have a calming effect, whereas testosterone and oxytocin seem to make men more aggressive. Therefore, women are better than men in maintaining their composure under pressure. Alright everyone that is all for today. What do you think of today's video? Do you have any further information to share? Tell us in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe if you are a new viewer. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video and I'll see you in the next.